with breaking news. I'm Amanda Venegas. We have an update to that breaking news out of the South Valley. The Tulare County Sheriff just confirmed six people are dead following a shooting in Goshen. Action News reporter Amanda Aguilar is live with the scene with more on the attack. Amanda, you've been there all this morning. What can you tell us? Yeah, Amanda, we learned a lot of heartbreaking details about this shooting here in Goshen. The sheriff says six people dead. This includes a six month old baby and this scene is still very active behind me. This is at Harvest and Road 68. Now the sheriff says that they got a call by multiple people a little around 330 this morning. And at first people were describing this as an active shooter because that's how many rounds of gunfire fire they were hearing and then when officers arrived they found several victims outside of this uh, home on harvest and even inside of the home five people were pronounced dead. They tried to do CPR as well as um, on people on scene. One person was transported to the hospital. That person has died. So in total six, including a six month old baby and a 17 year old mom. The sheriff also says one of the victims was also an elderly woman who it looks like was shot in her sleep while she was sleeping. So a lot of heartbreaking details that we learned from the sheriff. No suspect information. No one is in custody, but they do believe they have two suspects in mind, but they did not want to give us that much information. They said this was not a random shooting. This was targeted, and they do believe that there are some gang associations. The sheriff also said that just last week at this house, there was a narcotics search warrant that was served here. So they have a lot of the narcotics team out here. They have their gang unit as here as well as other detectives. I mean, they are going to be out here for probably 10 to 12 hours, he says, as this investigation unfolds. Um, so those are some of the details that the sheriff was able to share with us. He does not believe because this wasn't a random shooting. He does not believe that the community is in danger. He said that this was very targeted and this family was targeted. Now, now, as for the victims, the deceased victims, we don't know exactly their relationship to one another, but he says some were found inside the home, some were found outside the home. There was also a trailer on the property that they're going to be involved in investigating as well. Looking at that, that's a part of the crime scene unit, um, but they are staying busy out here. It's going to be an active investigation and they are going to be talking to witnesses. There were actually two survivors in this shooting. The sheriff says that those survivors were hiding and that is how they survived. So they are going to be talking to those survivors. And of course, they're going to be just trying to look for, you know, any surveillance video, talking to neighbors. Um, they're really just trying to get more information about exactly what happened and who is involved in this shooting. And they um, are going to be out here for the next 12 hours, you know, even maybe even more. So if you do live in this area, just expect a lot of these roads on Harvest Road. Road 68 as well as Cam Drive right the opposite of Harvest. Expect those roads to be closed as they continue their investigation. And once we learn more, we'll be sure to update you on air and online at ABC30.com. But Amanda, back to you.